We already know that King Charles and Harry have had some talks of reconciliation going forward, but apparently Prince William does not plan on speaking to Harry. Does this mean that at least there could be peace between Harry and his father? Well, probably not, because Charles already knows how the rest of the family feels about Harry, and he knows good and well that the people of the UK don't have any use for him. Making matters worse, of course, are the many times that Harry decided to reveal some private information about Prince William, King Charles, Queen Camilla, and Catherine II, and a ceasefire in the family does not look very likely. Now the king wants this fight to come to an end, but he knows all about the horrible things that his son has said about Queen Camilla, so how could there be an end to the pain? Of course, King Charles has always wanted Harry to come to his coronation. I'm sure on some level he also knew that Harry would live to regret the decision if he decided not to come, and that meant that he had to have a conversation with Harry about wanting him there, even though Harry shouldn't expect to sit with William or expect to stand on Buckingham Palace balcony. It sounds a lot like Harry is aware of the deep dislike that his family and his country feel towards him, and rightfully so. Meghan has decided not to come, probably because she knows that everybody hates her. Personally, I'm not convinced that she was even invited, which means that Harry is going to fly in and out just for the coronation. He's not even going to stay for the luncheon afterwards or the concert that weekend, which means that he has to realize he will be feeling left out, and he'll have basically no one to talk to. Without Meghan there by his side, Harry's going to feel all by himself at this important event, but how could it really be any other way? I don't necessarily believe that we have heard the last of what Harry has to say, I think that he's capable of writing even more garbage and telling many more lies just to try to hurt his family, and they know that too. I mean, they have been hurt by Harry way too many times. Even if Meghan claims that she is moving on from associating with the royal family, well, her title still connects her with the royals. Although, I have heard those titles are going to be taken away very soon. Personally, I am thrilled at this news. I hope that they are not the Duke and Duchess of Sussex anymore. Now, reportedly, it's going to happen later this year. Nobody trusts Harry at this point, and I believe they warned Princess Eugenie to stay away from the toxic duo in California. Even if Harry never says another negative thing about his family from this point forward, Harry has been the source of so much heartache. It's going to take a long time for everybody to heal, and in some cases, it may never heal. Prince William and Catherine have been betrayed by jealous Meghan Markle, and Harry decided to get even nastier. How could William possibly forgive all that? Once Harry and Meghan finally lose those titles, I think they're just going to write and say even more ugly things. And of course, it will be a bunch of lies. I don't believe this royal feud is going to come to an end just yet. Now, I don't think the rift is ever going to fully heal, although an active, ongoing feud may end someday. The rift is probably always going to be there because of everything that Harry has done. But for now, at least, the only thing we know Harry is planning on doing is coming to the coronation. I just can't understand how this pair of evil doers could take such a beautiful opportunity that anybody else in the world would have killed for, and at every single turn of the tie, they made wrong choices, wrong, destructive decisions, and they continue to cause so much pain for the royal family. I don't understand what made them believe that they could be on the opposite side of an institution that has been so respected for nearly a thousand years, that is so beloved, so cherished, so seeped in tradition and honor, and do the horrible things they did. It's just astounding. I do hope the king is going to stay strong and take the initiative to do everything that he can to rid everybody of this horrible cancer, take away those titles, and also the titles of their invisible kids, and remove those invisible children from the line of succession, too. If there were a final straw that broke the camel's back, I would assume that Harry revealing the facts of his brother's court settlement was it. He breached a confidential court decision, and he failed to include that that settlement money went straight to charity. That's the same charity, actually, that Harry used to be involved in. How self-serving and arrogant can one person be? Just imagine all the pain that Harry watched his wife heap upon the Queen and Prince Philip in the final years of their lives, Harry can never be forgiven for that alone, and it's all because he allowed himself to be manipulated and controlled by a woman who is a pathological, narcissistic liar. I don't blame Catherine or William a bit for never trusting either of them. After all, neither of them have shown any remorse. Harry has become so bitter and so twisted since he got with Meghan. If only Harry had read Meghan's brother's warning letter before they got married. 
I mean, that guy basically spelled out exactly what Megan was going to do. And tragically, that is exactly what she has done. It's no wonder that so many people around the world despise her. Even the engagement interview alone had plenty of red flags. I don't know why Harry couldn't see them. Megan has been bad news from the very beginning. And sadly, she has inflicted so much pain on her own family too, and the royal family. Wallace Simpson was an absolute saint compared to Megan. She made sure that she had children. She had the audacity to name their daughter after the late queen with what she did to Harry's family. I mean, what a horrible person. And the irony here is that Harry only has himself to blame for all of these problems. It's pretty shocking, actually. The other thing we need to remember is Harry cannot understand the concept of cause and effect. He doesn't understand what outcomes or consequences actually mean. I don't understand how a grown man could be lacking in all of this, but he is. I mean, even a two-year-old can understand how if you act bad, it's going to bring some unpleasant consequences. Harry has dug himself such a deep hole, he threw himself right into it, and he still wonders why nobody wants to talk to him, why nobody trusts him anymore. I mean, seriously, Harry, you alienated a whole country, his home country and his family too, because he's a liar. He self-contradicts himself all the time. He's petulant. He's so immature. He's greedy. He's incredibly jealous of his older brother, and he showed such disrespect to his own late grandmother and grandfather. Who could do such a thing? And to make matters worse, Harry was born into a life of such amazing privilege. He and Meghan could have done some really remarkable things, amazing things with their charities or causes that bring meaningful outcomes and benefits to people who really need it. They could have made such a positive impact on the world, mostly due to the fact that they would not be as restricted as William, and so they could enjoy more freedom to go certain places where the former would be advised not to go. Harry and Meghan really ruined everything, though. And when the dust finally settles in this whole situation, who knows where they're going to end up. Now, if Megan at that point is still with Harry. I don't know, though. I do know, though, it's all going to end in tears when karma finally comes knocking. And you. Do you agree with the views in my video? Please tell me your opinion below in the comments. If you think my video is helpful, don't be afraid to like and share it with anyone else who would enjoy it. 